Let's construct a mesh in Grasshopper from a list of points. Before we begin, go to the display settings, enable the draw icons, draw fancy wire, and draw full names options. Begin with creating a point cloud in Rhino viewport. Use the multi points option in the sidebar and click on the viewport to assign 12 points. Reference these points in Grasshopper using a point container. Next, construct a mesh from points using the construct mesh component. All native components for mesh modeling are nested under mesh section in toolbar. The construct mesh component requires three inputs, a list of vertices, a list of faces and a list of colors. The component comes with default values assigned to vertices and faces. Use the referenced points as the list of vertices. To create a list of faces, we need to understand the indices of the referenced points. Use the point list command to display the order in which the points are listed. From this list, identify the topology of connections and start defining the faces. Use the following naming convention to define a face, open curly bracket, capital T, semicolon, index 01, semicolon, index 02, semicolon, index 03, close curly bracket. The T stands for a triangular face. To define a quadrilateral face, use open curly bracket, capital Q, semicolon, index 01, semicolon, index 02, semicolon, index 03, semicolon, index 04, close curly bracket. Using this system, open a panel and create a list of faces. Remember, list the indices in counterclockwise order. Once complete, change the panel settings to multi-line data to convert each line of text into individual data. Use this list as input for faces in the construct mesh component. The resultant mesh is visible in the Rhino viewport. Hover the mouse over the mesh output to read the mesh description. The mesh consists of 12 vertices and 6 faces. This method of defining faces is a powerful method of creating various topologies from a list of vertices. A mesh can be a purely quad mesh, a purely triangular mesh, or a combination of the two. Moving the reference points does not break the mesh but instead deforms it. However, Reorganizing the indices of the referenced point list will change the topology of the mesh. 